listen, we weren't there for the apology, but hypothetically speaking, if you're a defensive player in that locker room, how do you handle this? Well, I think the first thing is you understand there's a lot of people walking around that building that think that way. Jack Del Rio is not the only person that feels like what happened on January 6th was a dust up and that what happens in the wake of unarmed men being killed by police brutality and the things that ensue afterwards and, and that anger and that hurt and that pain are things we need to pay more attention to than that. He ain't the only one that feels that way. He's just the only one that was willing to say it out loud. If they're willing to come to work, work hard, be respectful, put their hand in the pile, and try to get a W on the weekend, then you're going to play with them. So what you're going to do as a defensive player is you're going to walk into that meeting and treat Coach Jack Del Rio with the respect of being a coach. Now, beyond that, outside of that, you don't have to be friends, you don't have to laugh and play, you don't have to have a relationship, but you have to figure out a way to win football games, and that's what this team is going to do. And let me repeat this. Jack Del Rio is not the only person in that building that feels that way. He just said it. And when you are an African-American player or a minority player or a black player, when you walk into those buildings, you know that already. I actually rather Jack Del Rio come out and say it. So now I don't have to guess. Let's go play football. Well, if I'm in Washington, I, I'd rather he had not said it. Now, Jack Del Rio has freedom of speech, just like everybody else. But for him to compare the wrongful killing of George Floyd in cold blood to uh, the, uh, what he called a dust up or what happened at the Capitol because a president was upset about the election results is not just uh, wild. It's irresponsible. How can you look those guys in the eyes that you're coaching that come from a, a predominantly black community, their own community, and tell them what you just said was, hey, it's okay. It's not okay. Those guys aren't going to give the extra effort for Jack Del Rio. They might give it for their family. Like uh, Deron Payne said, he, he plays football, so he's going to give it for himself. He has a certain sense of pride about what he's doing. But they're not going to give that 120% effort for Jack Del Rio. And I just think as a football player and that football team in Washington that constantly is marred with controversy, Jack Del Rio just made it a lot harder for those guys to go to work without distraction. Now, as RC said, as a pro, you got to handle your business. You're going to show up and we all have people that we work with uh, that we don't like and we don't agree with their, with their views on life, but you go to work and you get it done and be a pro and I think that's what they have to take out of this. They're going to have to be professional, but they're not playing for Jack Del Rio. They're playing for each other. Yeah, it's interesting. You mentioned playing for each other. High expectations for that Washington defense last year. They didn't necessarily live up to it in the way that they would say, right, that they could have done. We'll see how that ends up going out on the field next season. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.